Hello everyone, welcome into Above My Pay Grade. My name is Eric. How bad is our national debt? Well, it's bad. And when we're dealing with trillions of dollars, a lot of people's eyes glaze over and go, okay, I mean, there's always somebody to tell me. I've always had that crazy relative, I guess that was me, that was like, hey, the government's spending too much money. And we're like, yeah, 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 that's what you said in 2008. And uh, the world has not fallen apart yet. So what's different today? Well, there's a lot different today. Um, and I kind of went over a little bit of that <clears throat> in my last video. But I wanted to talk specifically numbers that come straight from the government. The Congressional Budget Office. Um, and I will link the story in the description below. The Congressional Budget Office is the bipartisan um, accounting firm, if you will, that um, goes over the numbers of government spending and projects uh, what we're going to spend in the future. Now, the Congressional Budget Office has said over the next 10 years, our average deficit will be $1.6 trillion every year. Every year, $1.6 trillion. That's if nothing changes. So the, the CBO, or Congressional Budget Office, puts this together, and I imagine... It's a bunch of bean counters in the room, you know, doing all the numbers. And then they get to 1.6 trillion. They look around like, is that correct? Recalculate. 1.6 trillion. What do you know? And ever so slightly nudge politicians to stop spending money. Because 1.6 trillion per year, to put in perspective how much a trillion is. If you were to pay, let's see, I... I pulled this up. If you paid $1 per second to settle a $1 million debt, it would take you 12 days. It would take you 12 days. Take a wild guess how long it would take you for a trillion dollars if you were paying $1 per second. 32,000 years. That's a lot. We're never paying it back. We're never paying it back. And I kind of feel like it would be like uh, if you went to your trainer and you said, hey, guys, listen, relax. I'm only gaining 20 pounds a year. And if your bu budget deficit went down slightly, you're like, oh, I'm only gaining 15 pounds a year. And your trainer goes, no, that's not sustainable. You're going to die. And you say, well, I'm not dead yet. And that's how politicians think about spending. And they are running this thing off the tracks. So the CBO office says, we are going to run a deficit. This is straight from the government, mind you. Straight from the government. $1.6 trillion a year, average, over the next 10 years. On top of that, they say our interest payment is going to go up. On average, we're paying about 1.7% on the $30 trillion that we have in uh, debt right now. Now, as that debt goes up and Interest rates go up. They said, on average, we're going to spend, this is all estimates, 3.3% on our $30 trillion, plus adding to the deficit. So not only are we adding to the deficit, the interest payment is going up. And if you were wondering, a lot of this can be very confusing, and uh, I, I don't want to make it uh, too cerebral, but the point is, our government, when we take on debt, we don't actually pay it off. We don't pay it off. We pay interest only. Interest only. So that 1.7% uh, that we're paying today is only interest. So as we add debt to that, it's not like we're digging ourselves out of a hole. <laughs> we don't dig ourselves out of a hole if our tax receipts, um, if we get more tax receipts. We just add to the debt. We just add to it. That's how politicians think. They only think in four years. And guess what? No one's going to stop them unless voters go, hey, uh, this isn't okay. And I, I just don't think voters are going to do that. <laughs> Your average voter, um, if a politician says, hey, I'm going to have to cut some stuff and that stuff's going to affect you, just most voters aren't going to do it until they're hit over the face with inflation, um, civil unrest, and all the other things that come with uh, government overspending and eventual uh, economic collapse, unfortunately. 
But what I love, <clears throat> what I love is uh, if you're, if you get called a conspiracy theorist, if you get, if you're that person, <laughs> that annoying person at Thanksgiving, which don't do this at Thanksgiving, but if you're that annoying relative, and I guess I'm the, that guy, and maybe you are too, that just tries to tell people, hey, listen, this is unsustainable. And the consequence of this historically have been civil unrest, starvation, all, just bad stuff. Wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's not good. Okay. And yet we keep moving down and Americans head in the sand. It'll all be okay. And um, straight from the government, the CBO office, straight from the government, they're saying unsustainable. And again, I imagine these people around a... Um, table going uh are you seeing that carl are you seeing these numbers these politicians are insane they keep spending yeah i know and we keep coming out with this cbo projection saying hey in 10 years we're gonna burn this place down and they go great and they keep pressing forward unfortunately take a look at the link i link in the description below um it lays it all out for you and just do the math it's unsustainable and it's very very frustrating that politicians who supposedly care about America, care about the Constitution, care about their voting base, will continue to sell this BS. Very frustrating. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below. Take a look at this uh, article that I link, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.